So now I'm going to show how the remote cell works auto map with Ableton Live. And I just wanted to show the initial setup. Now, when you first open up an application after you installed it, uh, the remote cell, you need to uh, set it up in the control surface setup in the preferences. So in Live, you would go into preferences. And then you want to be MIDI sync. You want to make sure that it says remote cell here and that you select port 2. It is very important that you select port 2 in any application. So whether you're using Logic, Cubase, Nuendo, Digital Performer, Pro Tools, any application that you're using in AutoMap, you need to set the input and the output to port 2. And in Ableton Live, you usually set the, turn these on as well. And now you should be set to go. So if you're looking now on the LCD, while I was doing this, it already changed it to control the mixer. So just by setting it up in preferences, it's automatically working now in Ableton Live. The way it works in Ableton Live is this section of the control surface will control the mixer at all times. This side, these will automatically control whatever you drop down to the drop down area in Ableton Live. So I'm going to go in and find a plugin. For example, let's do Absinthe. Absinthe. Maybe not absent. <laughs> Let's do an effect instead. Uh, okay. Now, I just dropped the box here. I have to make sure that it's turned on as soon as I turn it on. So now you see that anything that you have dropped down there, it will control that effect, for example.